worships you, Father ancient of days, to you all the angels. Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your Dearest sisters and brothers, all those connected to the social means of communication, to celebrate worthily the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess Lord, to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, from the day we heard about you, we do not cease praying for you and asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of God's will, through all spiritual wisdom and understanding, to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, so as to be fully pleasing in every good work, bearing fruit, and growing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with every power, in accord with his glorious might, for all endurance and patience, with joy giving thanks to the Father, who has made you fit to share in the inheritance of the Holy Ones in light. He delivered us from the power of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the psalm we will respond. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord, the Lord has, has made, made known his salvation. salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the, sa the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The Lord has made known his salvation. Alleluia. says the Lord, and I will make you fishers of men. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing. But at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled the boats so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him and all those with him. And likewise, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Father. Such a powerful scripture and such a paradigmatic scripture in the life of Peter and the life of the whole church. It's almost as if in this single moment you have the image of the Annunciation and the Samaritan woman at the well that become this new encounter of Jesus finding Peter. When you go to the church of the primacy of Peter, which is the place where Jesus reconciled Peter with himself, and he asks them three questions, Simon, son of John, do you love me? The way that Simon personally recognizes Jesus is because there is a second miraculous multiplication of fish. So Simon is ready to say that the Lord made the biggest mistake of his life ever calling him. He denied him three times in Jerusalem. He sees him twice risen from the dead. He has a personal resurrection experience according to the Gospel of Luke. And after all that, in John 21, Peter says, I'm going fishing. I mean, what was I thinking? What I can do is fish, and I'm going to go back to fishing. And so he goes back. And then six of the disciples, who probably have similar concerns or struggles or doubts, they all say, we're going with you. That's what we are at the end of the day, as we're a bunch of fishermen. And then Jesus, as he's cooking breakfast, he says, children, cast the net off the right side of the boat again. John says, it is the Lord, and Peter jumps in the water, and then he helps bring in the second miraculous catch. There are certain details in the gospel today that let us know that the Lord doesn't make a mistake when he calls someone. We can have all the reasons in the world to say, Lord, it should have been that person, even Moses, right, at Mount Sinai, he sees the burning bush, and the Lord says, Ashe, Aya, Ashe, he reveals his name to him, and after all of that, Moses says, you know, Lord, this is an amazing idea you have to get everybody out of slavery, but the man that you want is Aaron. He's a much better speaker than I am, he's younger, and I think they're going to like him more than all the reasons in the world not to be Moses. And maybe that's one of the reasons too. Maybe there should be something in us that says, are you sure, Lord? Are you really sure you're calling me? And that's what Peter experiences in the boat. He sees, he has this clarity that this, is, this man is full of God. He's the son of God. And he goes, away from me, Lord, for I'm a sinful man. 
In the same place of the primacy, there is this amazing cast iron sculpture of this moment in Galilee. And it shows Jesus, who is the Son of God, with his hand over Simon like this, and another hand elevated to the Father, like confirming that this is the one he's going to call. And there's Simon kind of recoiling from what Jesus is doing. And behind them is the shape of the Sea of Galilee, the Lake of Gennesaret. And what you notice as you ponder the shape of the Sea of Galilee is that it's the shape of a heart. The one who went fishing, the one who really is the fisher of men and women is Christ. And when he goes fishing, he fishes for the heart. He sees things that we're never going to see. And maybe that's good also. But what he sees is he sees the predilection of the Father in this heart. And he says, that's the heart that I'm calling. And so he says, Simon, from now on you'll be catching men. That's the will of the Father for your life. Listen to no one else, not even yourself. And come and follow me. And Simon, with his brother, and James and John leave everything and they follow Jesus. What a beautiful reminder as Jesus will say in the Gospel of John, it's not me who chose you. It's not you who chose me, excuse me. It's I who chose you. And so what does he ask of those who are called? What St. Paul writes about in the first letter today. There's only one treasure that we have, and it's Christ. And St. Paul, who's preparing for his death, in Rome, writing this letter, he says, above all, treasure the word of God in your heart. That's your treasure. Treasure that, and everything's going to be fine. Keep the gaze of your heart fixed on the one who called you. And then keep walking. Let us conclude with these words of our mother founders. My brothers and sisters, let us be on our way now and go in haste like Our Lady to go visit the humanity that is in such need of Jesus, truly present in the Blessed Sacrament of knowing his redeeming love and his liberating truth. That redeeming love and liberating truth that is the heart of every vocation and it's also the plan of love that God has for our hearts. All for the heart of Jesus. Through the heart of Mary. Dear sisters and brothers, all those connected through the social means of communication, trusting in our Heavenly Father's merciful love, we present our prayers and petitions. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church, for Pope Francis, for Archbishop Thomas Wensky, for the Patriarch of Jerusalem, Archbishop Prevost, Bishop Oder, Archbishop Mietek, Bishop Rika, Bishop Peter, and for the healing of his cancer for the gathering of new bishops in Rome for formation, and all the bishops in the diocese where we serve and will serve, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. For our mother foundress, in profound thanksgiving, for continually providing ways to grow in our Christian life, we pray for supernatural fortitude as she establishes the new convent in Poland, for her talks in the 10-day mission in Ireland, in Poland, and the priest convocation in Rapid City for her physical and spiritual protection, for her intentions, discernments, and her health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our religious, spiritual, and biological families, for the maximization of our Marianization, for the health of Sister Anna, Sister Carmen, Sister Maria Teresa, Sister Samantha, Sister Sonia, Sister Anna Pia, Sister Anna Margarita, and for a special intention of Father Theo, 
and may Our Lady open the path for him, for our sisters preparing for perpetual vows, and for the 10-day evangelization mission in Ireland, for all the missionaries going, for Mr. Simon and those who will receive us, and for all the preparations, for the young knights of the pierced hearts and the young ladies of Our Lady, for the new missions and foundations in the Diocese of Gliwich and Birmingham, and for the fecundity of all of our apostolic works, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. For an increase of healthy vocations to masculine and feminine religious life, for our vocational groups, go to Joseph and Nazareth, for all the young men and women discerning with our religious family, and for the release of the permits for the, fi for the finalization of the construction of our new house of formation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood in our archdiocese, for St. Vincent de Paul Major Seminary, for its mission seminarians and faculty, for the University of Mary, for Father Brian, the priests and parishioners of St. Michael the Archangel Parish in, Ar in the Archdiocese of Kansas City, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayers. For all of our benefactors, for their protection and their families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For the protection of all the children and adolescents from human trafficking, for the rescue of all who have been kidnapped, for the protection of Eduardo, Jim, and Tim, for the end of religious persecution against Christians in the Holy Land, Nicaragua, and Nigeria, for respectful treatment and the permanent release of Monsignor Rolando Alvarez, for the end to the wars in Ukraine and Sudan, and for the protection of our world from war, economic recession, corruption, and natural disasters. Especially during this hurricane season, we pray for the dissipation of Hurricane Lee. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. For all who entrust themselves to our prayers, for the health of Doña Julita Lanzas and Doña Terry Casas, for abundant blessings for Liz Clavo Cortinas on her birthday today, for John and Rosie Morena on their wedding anniversary today, for the pregnancies of Gerald Williams, Marilyn Sanchez, Christina, Alicia, Emily, Molly, Hannah, Ornelia, Felicia, Sarah, Veronica, Maria Desiree, Lucrecia, Cari, Becca, and Barbara, for a special intention of the Munoz family and of Philip and Marinella, for the recuperation of Sebastião and Beatriz, for the health of all the sick, especially for Adam McCourt, Alessandro Capua, Carolina Nunez, Donaldo Torres, Elizabeth, Domingo Cortinas, Gladys, Michael Borelli, Bruno Molia, Theo, Pablo Vives, David Vega, Don Quique, Jason Albizu, Maria Caña, Ives Vidal, Maria Elena George, Nora Perez, Natalie Dodge, Rufus, Judy, and Chuck Rogers, for the souls of our deceased benefactors and for the eternal repose of all the faithfully departed, especially for Mary Ann, Wilmowski, Daniela Lanza, and Ulises Gutierrez, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Good and gracious Father, we thank you for the possibilities of your mercy that change those impossibilities to a path of life, of holiness, and mission. Help us like Peter to keep our eyes fixed on your love and proclaim that love to the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number three in the vocational section. Receive the hollow 
family, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. That what is celebrate here in mystery, we may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord. Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirits upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. My In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Marianne Wilmowski, whom you have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially Daniela Lanza, Ulysses Gutierrez Lacatur, Yolanda, Jacqueline, Pablo, Teresa, Ben, Eliut, Penita, Monsignor Pastor Cuquejo, Father Richard Pagini, Enrique, Caridad, Rosita, Pablo, Patrick, Nidia, Ernesto, Luli, Maria, Mariano, Dolores, Michael, Caleb, Paul, Jack, Bill, for the souls of our deceased benefactors, the souls in purgatory, the souls of those who have died tragically, unexpectedly, and from war. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the whole Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our offertory, our communion hymn is number 28 in the bilingual section.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, you may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you and our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We ask for the protection of St. Michael the Archangel. It's asking that with his powerful intercession, with the might of his hand, and the power of his sword, granted by you, O Lord, that he would stay any forces of evil, any darkness, any distraction, dissipation, or obstacle hindering this work of the Lord, trying to impede any of the life that is to be given and is being given in this month in our spiritual family. We entrust to St. Michael the dissipation of Hurricane Lee. We pray that with his powerful sword, this storm would be dissolved in the depths of the sea, that no harm would come to any person, to any land. St. Michael, defend us and raise your sword up against us. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us. 